Hey Fit Like YouTube, welcome back to another episode of World's End. So, just building the refugium, just getting all the glass prepared, sanding really the rough bits with the, the grinder. I've got a sand paper disc on it at the moment. This to get rid of all the really sharp bitties and try and get some of the bits are a wee bit of squint, a bit of straighter. Next up, just giving a finishing touch with some wet and dry sandpaper. Just a few rubs here and there. Um, the glass is pretty smooth. There's no sharp edges anymore. So just working my way through different grains grades of the wet and dry sandpaper just to get this as smooth as possible. All the glass is done now so all that's left to do is get this prepared for silicon it together so I'm just going to tape everything up. Right, that's everything taped up, so now it's time to get everything siliconed together. This is the first pane going into place, and luckily my son was at home to give me a hand with this, because there's no way I would have managed this by myself. Right, we'll get the third pane of glass on here now. And this is a little bit fiddly, but it's worth just taking your time and making sure you get it perfect. And finally, we're just putting the final piece into position. 
I've got my son pressing his foot up against the opposite side, so I've got something to push against. And once I get this final piece secured, I will then get everything taped up securely and we'll start siliconing the inside of the aquarium. One thing to note here, while silicon in the aquarium, I had the patio doors and kitchen window wide open just to get plenty of fresh air into the room because this stuff absolutely stinks. And if you don't have a well ventilated area, you will probably end up with a severe headache. So just getting the last few bits silicone and then we'll get it all finished off with my finger. Okay, so that's the aquarium now built. Just got to wait for the silicon to go off. I've taped everything off to keep all the panels in position. I did try using some brackets. However, I found that the brackets were putting too much strain on various panes and they would start to move. So doing it this way keeps everything in place much better. So we'll leave this now for 24 hours and then we'll see how the tank is tomorrow. Right, it's been 24 hours and everything is cured. So now I'm just going to give all the paints that I'm going to be painting a nice clean with some sugar soap. Get all the glass spotless so that the paint should have no problems adhering to the glass. Okay, so the glass is all clean, now it's just a matter of getting the paint onto the three sides, I'm just going to have one viewable panel. Now, you may be wondering why. I've left this bit higher than the rest and the reason for that is that I want to put, well, I'm going to put sliding doors on here, glass sliding doors. So what I will be doing is taking this rail, rail and stuff and I'm going to glue this onto here, same on this side. And then I'll be able to slide the glass and that'll be that. So that's the refusium done. It's all built, ready to go. All I've got to do now is silicon in the weir, get the plumbing and build 
build the stand for this. Right, that's all the wood cut to size. Next thing to do is get it all drilled, ready to be screwed together. Perfect, that'll do. Okay, that's everything drilled, so next up, it's time to get gluing. So add in generous amounts of glue to each side that's going to be screwed together. And doing it this way, it's going to save space, because I don't have a lot of space for this stand because the auto top off is going in so this was the way that I figured it would be able to create the stand and it would still be super strong to support the weight of the refugium. Right, that's the frame now done. Really happy with how it's turned out. I've added some extra pieces of wood just for extra strength along the back here and a few noggins. Next up is to get the top on. So I'm just gonna go and cut that just now. And all the holes I've just filled with some wood filler and gave that a sand down. Right, time for some more glue and then I'll get this top piece screwed and glued on.
quick sand down. Right, now I'm just cutting the top piece just to give a bit of cushion for when the glass aquarium goes on top. Okay, so that's the stand now complete and ready to be put in position. So before I end this video, I'll just show you in case I get questions about what I used. So for building the refugium, I used the frog tape. I used this Bondit HA6 marine grade silicon sealant and it is suitable for aquariums. For painting the back of the refugium, I used this Johnston's metal black paint, worked perfectly, two coats and the job was done. And for the stand, I used Evo wood stick glue and this white wood filler, just to fill in all the holes. And that's it. So. This video is getting a bit long, so I'll end it here and tune in for the next Refugium video to find out if this stand is actually going to fit over the top of the top off and if we can get the Refugium tank in place. The only other thing on the stand that I need to do is obviously I have to get the tank in place and cut away the section of the very top for the plumbing. But yep. I think we'll end it here this one's getting a bit long so if you enjoyed the video please give it a like subscribe for more and until the next one bye bye